How many times have you stood in front of the glass case at Panda watching them scoop three measly shrimp and a few walnuts onto your plate, wishing for just a few extra? Well, forget them. With today's recipe, you can be honey walnut rich, because we're winging it, bitches, with today's recipe, honey walnut wings. It all starts with a small saucepan, and one cup of water, and one cup of sugar, and we're going to bring it to a boil. We're cooking this on low heat. Keep stirring, and before you know it, the sugar completely dissolves. But keep stirring, and stirring, and stirring. Truthfully, we're only going to let this boil for about five minutes before adding one of our key ingredients. These nuts, one cup to be exact. As the liquid boils down, the sugar caramelizes, eventually creating that irresistibly delicious coating that we're looking for. If you like your nuts glazed, this is how you do it. We're letting it boil for about five more minutes before laying them out on a cookie sheet. I'm using foil here, but parchment's probably ideal. Moving on to the wings, pay attention people, because I'm about to magically transform this chicken wing into a drumette and a wingette before your very eyes. The secret is in the joints. Find them and then slice through them carefully, removing the tasty little trophies. For this recipe, we're going to dress out eight chicken wings for a total of 16 wingettes. I'll show you again. Locate the joint, and then slice through it. And for those of you who are wondering what to do with the tip, boil those wing tips to make a good chicken stock. Moving on to that magical crispy coating, watch carefully. We're going to separate four large egg whites into a mixing bowl. If you don't mind getting your hands dirty, this technique works just fine. And then it's time to whisk. It might take anywhere from three to five minutes, but we want to beat it until it's foamy, homie. Next, we're going to whisk in two thirds cup cornstarch. I don't know how much you know about frying, but try incorporating cornstarch into your fry batters and see what happens. We're talking next level crispiness. This particular batter with egg whites and cornstarch together is what gives honey walnut shrimp its famous coating. So just wait until you see what it does to our wings. Then it's time to drop those wings into the batter and make sure they're nice and coated. Every nook and cranny. Just get your hand right in there. Oh yeah. So there are times when you just gotta say it. I'm living large. What vegetable oil lacks in health benefits it makes up for in flavor. And look how warmly it welcomes these little birdies. They feel right at home. Stand back and watch them dance to the Crisco Symphony. And in about four to five minutes per side, they'll turn a beautiful golden color that'll make you think of Miami Beach on a summer day. What did I tell ya? And these wings are worth their weight in gold. They're so deliciously crispy. If you're like me, you just might turn them a few times to make sure they're perfect. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, if Larry Flint had started a food magazine, these wings would make the centerfold. I mean, look at them, all laid out on the rack, just waiting to be glazed. And so, let's do it. With a quarter cup mayo, two tablespoons honey, and one and a half tablespoons sweetened condensed milk, and then whisk. When you taste this, you'll want to glaze everything with it. Wings, shrimp, the dog. Well, maybe not the dog. So don't be shy. We're going to put all the wings into the mixing bowl with the glaze, and we are just seconds away from blowing the minds and the taste buds of anyone lucky enough to be able to taste this dish. Mmm. Now that the wings are covered in glaze, it's time to plate up and drop in the nuts. You didn't forget about those candied walnuts, did you? And how about a little chopped scallion to finish it up? Tell me you wouldn't hit that. Those crispy wings with the sweet honey glaze and candied nuts, dipped in some cool sriracha ranch dressing. Oh yes we did. Don't worry, the full recipe's in the description. So make sure to like and subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.